Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to the 10th class of permutations and combinations, right? So from here on, in the next few videos, we will discuss about the distribution that is from similar to different, different to similar, all those integral solutions and all, right? So we will discuss from here on, okay, very important. So from, from here on, here on it gets more interesting, right? So from videos number 1 to 9, you can treat it like part 1. Revise that part, go through it, do every concept properly. If you are confident from 1 to 9, treat that like part 1. That means your part 1 is over. Now just come to part 2 of PNC. Right. From here on, a completely different concept we'll do. Okay. So part 2 will start. Okay. See. So we will discuss here. We'll start with distribution from distribution from similar things to different things. That is S to D. Okay. We'll discuss S to D category from here on. That is similar to different. Similar to different distribution. Okay. Similar to different. Now, see what does mean here. Suppose there is a question here. There is a question. Distribution of distribution of of 10 similar chocolates or make it a smaller number here. We will go to a bigger number after getting the concept. Distribution of 5 similar chocolates. 5 similar chocolates to 3 persons. Okay, so this is a concept. Okay, not a question. So, distribution of five similar chocolates to three persons, right? In how many ways we can do it? Okay, in how many ways we can do it? In how many ways this can be done? See here. See, I'll have uh, two methods for it, right? First method. There are two methods for it, right? First method is the conventional one. First method. Okay, distribution of five similar chocolates to three persons. So let those three persons be A, B, and C. So in how many ways they can you can distribute these five chocolates? So five zero zero. Five to A, zero zero to B and C, right? And this can be shuffled. So don't don't worry about uh, this uh, uh, five zero zero or zero five zero, right? That means five zero zero one group. We can do this shuffling and it will be covered to all the three persons, right? Now, 410 is another group. 320 is another group. 311 is another group. 212 is another group. So, you hope all are covered? Yeah. Okay. So, now, see, there are five similar chocolates, right? So, since there are five similar chocolates, there are five identical chocolates, right? So what you need to do is so let's say all are like dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk. All are identical in shapes and size. So similar in similar means identical in permutation and combination. Similar means what? Similar means identical. Okay. So suppose all are dairy milk. So if you select if there are five identical chocolates, right? If you select five all dairy milk, that selection can be done in only one way. Right. That's why here we don't have to mention about worry about selecting. If you're, if you're selecting four dairy milks out of five dairy milk, so only one way of doing it, right? Because any you pick any four, you pick any four, all four, or any four are same on, right? Because all five are same. So think of picking four dairy milk. Only one way because you can pick any four. There's no there's no point of if I'm picking four dairy milk from here, there's no point writing five C four because five C four means selection of n different things out of uh, selection selection of r different things out of n different things. Here there are not different things here. Here are same, all are same. So no point doing NCR here. Right. 5C4 means I can form, form different groups of 4, 4. Where are different groups? There are no different groups, man. All are all are similar. Different dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk. Right. There are no different. All are similar only. Right. So dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk, dairy milk. So all are five, all five are equal shapes and sizes. Okay. So you can pick any four only one way. You can pick any three only one way. Right, any three you can pick only one way. Right, because any three will pick all three. All you, you pick one, two, and three. Those three will look like picking like two, three, and four. All are same only. Right. So if there are identical objects, so picking one only one way, picking two only one way, picking three only one way, picking four only one way. You pick anything out of n object only one way. Right. That's why selection won't matter. Just arrangement because A, B, C are three different persons. Right. Persons are always different. Right. So. 
just here this arrangement will matter okay so 5 0 0 now it's shuffling so it's like distributing 5 0 and 0 to 3 persons in how many ways i can do it factorial 3 by factorial 2 that is three ways right because why factorial 3 because 5 0 0 factorial 3 and 0 repeating two times so factorial 3 by factorial 2 the three cases of distributing 5 0 0 to 3 persons right you can think at the back of your mind what are three cases what are those three cases 5 0 0 0 5 0 0 0 5 these are the three cases okay 4 1 0 now distribution of three different things to three three persons right simply three factorial that is 6 3 2 0 again distribution of three different things to three persons right three factorial that is 6 and you can make the cases six cases what are six cases 3 2 0 3 0 2 2 3 0 2 0 3 right like this huh? and 0 2 3 0 3 2 so all these three numbers will be covered to everyone all possible shufflings are done factorial means multiplication and in multiplication all possible suffering shufflings are done okay 3 1 1 again distribution of three things to three persons where two are alike two are same right so three factorial upon two factorial 3 factorial upon 2 factorial, right? How much it is? Again, 3. 2, 1, 2. Again, 2 are same. So, 3 factorial upon 2 factorial, that is again 3. So, you add it here. 3 plus 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3. What is the answer? Answer will be 21. Okay. Answer will be 21. Right? So, answer for this question will be 21. Okay. Fine. In how many ways? Five similar chocolates can be given to three persons. Answer is 21. But this is method one. This is method one, making cases, right? But in S to D category kind of question where I am distributing similar things to different, uh, similar things to different, right? In that similar, like similar chocolates to different persons, right? So in this S to D category distribution, I don't need to make cases, right? There's a better method to do it, right? Second method, second method, right? Method two, can I method two? See in method 2 what we can do is simply you can think of since there are uh, three uh, five similar chocolates here so we can think of an equation right just make an equation what is the equation I can make here a plus b plus c is equal to 5 right a plus b plus c equal to 5 five chocolates so three persons a plus b plus a b and c so that a plus b plus c is equal to 5 now for this five chocolates think like this you make for this five chocolates think like this you make five circles here five chocolate one two three four and five you make five chocolate circles right now for two plus signs you make two partitions for two plus and listen carefully right very carefully very point concept right for two plus signs you make two partitions one here and one here let's say this part goes to a this part goes to b this part goes to c so a is one b is getting to c is getting to also this partition can be done like here like a is getting 0 b is getting all 5 and c is getting 0 right that basically or this partition can be done by c is getting 1 b is getting 1 and a is getting 3 that means if i make five circles here for five chocolates so the position of these lines this lines this partitions this partitions will decide the position of these partitions will decide the number of chocolates A and B are getting right. So if I shuffle, if I take all the possible shuffling, so how to get all the possible shufflings? That means there are five chocolates, so five circles, and for two plus sign two partitions, one part A, one part B, and one part other part to C. Right. This if I take all the possible shufflings of this five part of this uh, of this two partitions. So we should, we should think that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 5 circles and 2 lines. Okay. So 5 circles and 2 lines are moving. 5 circles and 2 lines are moving in a row. Right. Sometimes line is here. Sometimes line is here. Sometimes line is here. Right. So all these are moving in a row. So in how many ways they can shuffle? So 5 circles and 7 lines. In how many ways they can be shuffled? There are 7 symbols. 5 circles and 2 lines. There are 7 symbols. Right. 7 symbols can be arranged in 7 factorial ways in which 5 circles are identical because of 5 chocolates, 5 similar chocolates, 5 identical chocolates divided by 5 factorial and 2 lines are identical because of 2 plus sign, 2 partitions divided by 2 factorial. If you solve it, 
This is nothing but 7C2. It is how much? It is 21. See, we got the answer 21 only. The last method also 21 was the answer, right? But it is it is what? It is 7C2. It is 7C2, right? This is more important for me. 7C2 or 7C5. Yeah, of 7C5 because 7C2 is equal to 7C5. Fine. So that basically means that if a plus b plus c is equal to 5, a plus b plus c is equal to 5, what is the answer for it? Answer for it is 7c2. Now observe this equation and you can do it directly. This is what I wanted, right? Suppose a plus b plus c equal to 5 where a can get 0 chocolates, any, any number greater than, equal to greater, greater than equal to 0, b can get any number greater than equal to 0, c can get any number greater than equal to 0, right? So a plus b plus c equal to 5. So 5 chocolates, right? This 5 is a number plus 2 plus signs. So 5 plus 2, 7. 5 plus 2 plus signs. Okay. So 5 plus 2, 7. So 5 plus 2, 7c2. Simply read 5 plus 2, 7c2, right? Or 2 plus sign plus 5. So 2 plus 5, 7c5. Both are same. So 2 plus 5, 7c5. Or 5 plus 2. 2 is a 4 plus sign. 2 plus signs are there, right? So 5 plus 2, 7c2. Okay, now, so uh, five for five, I make I made five circles or five chocolates. For two plus signs, I made two partitions. One part will go to A, one part will go to P, and other part will go to C, right? So when we move the portions of these lines, right, numbers with A and B, C will numbers with A, B, C will change. Sometimes A will get one, B will get two, C will get two. Sometimes A will get three, B will get one, C will get one. Sometimes A will get 0, C will get 0, B will get 5, right? So moving the lines and circles are moving. So 5 circles and 2 lines are moving in a row. That means total 7 symbols are there. In how many ways they can be shuffled? If I if I take all the possible cases of shuffling, that will be covered with all the, that, that means all the possible cases are formed, right? Like for A, how many cases? Like sometimes A is 3, sometimes A is 1, sometimes A is 0, like that. Okay. So, Seven symbols are moving in a line for seven symbols, seven factorial out of which five circles are repeat same. So five divided by five factorial, just like letters, right? Just like letters we did words and letters. And out of this two plus signs, that means two partitions are same. So divide by two factorial, it is seven C2. So A plus B plus C equal to five is equal to seven C2 if this is greater than equal to zero, all three, right? So how to write directly? So this is five. So five plus two plus signs. So 5 plus 2, 7, 3, 2, right? There are 2 plus signs. So 5 plus 2, 7, 3, 2. Directly you should write. Okay. Now, let me discuss some more here. If there are 10 chocolates, 10 identical or 10 similar chocolates given to 3 persons, how many ways or give, how many ways of giving it? Now, directly we should do method 2. We should not do method 1. We should not make cases now because we saw, we saw that answer is coming same in both the cases because logic, logic is there, right? So a plus b plus c equal to 10. Um, what is the answer here? Simply, say if a is greater than equal to 0, b is greater than equal to 0, and c is greater than equal to 0. What is the answer? 10 plus 2, 12 c2. 10 plus 2, 12 c2 is the answer. 10 plus 2, 12 c2. Directly. 10 plus 2. 2 plus sign, so 10 plus 2, 12 c2. Right. Similarly, if, if 15 chocolates, are to give are to be given to four persons. Fifteen identical chocolates are to be given to four persons A, B, C, and D. In how many ways you can do it? Fifteen zeros here or fifteen circles plus three plus sign. What is the answer? Fifteen plus three, eighteen C three. Answer is eighteen C three provided that all this A, B, C, D can be zero. All this A, B, C, D can be zero. Right. So very important concept we have discussed here. This eighteen C three. If Similar to di different, what is the distribution pattern? Similar things to different. Okay, so similar chocolates to different people or similar chocolates to different boxes or similar balls to different boxes or similar balls to different bags, right? All these cases we can use this concept here. Okay, we can use this concept here. Okay. So see, uh, this case will actually take care of, this case will actually take care of, uh, okay, let me put one more condition now. Now, see here, if a plus b plus c is equal to 12, so, but it is given that now a is greater than or equal to 2, right? Then what is the number of solution in this case? This question reads as 12 chocolates 
to be given to three persons A, B, and C, such that A gets at least two chocolates. Such that A gets at least two chocolates, right? So what is the answer? So if A gets at least two chocolates, now so I, I can't apply this case here. I can't apply this that direct funda because A is not getting zero here. So that our funda will fail. Fail that circle, right? That distribution of circle and lines. In one case, line was A was line was at the end, so so that so so that A and C can get zero also, right? But in this case, A is getting at least two. So in this case, how to solve it? If A plus B plus C equal to twelve and A needs at least two. Okay, so we give two to A. First, to satisfy the minimum condition, we give two to A, right? So now we are given two to A. So this 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 A plus B plus C is equal to ten only now. Now ten chocolates are to be given to A, B, and C. Now this A can be zero, this B can be zero, this C can be zero now. Okay. So how what is the answer now? Since all three can be zero, what is the answer? Answer should be ten plus two, twelve C two. Ten plus two. 10 plus 2, 12 C2 is the answer. Right now, why it answer 12 C2? Right, so we are not. You 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 can ask a question here. What happened to 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 those to those two chocolates? Right. See, we are not we are not finding the number of chocolates in each case. We are just counting total number of cases. How many cases are there in which 12 chocolates will be distributed to A, B, and C such that A gets at least two? We are counting number of cases like A get two. B get five, C get five. It is one case, and if you shuffle it, it is three cases. Two five five is three cases, right? Factorial three by factorial two. So we are counting the number of cases. So if we are given two to A, so again we are same. We have got the same pattern now, right? So as we, whenever this A becomes zero, in this case is right. We are counting twelve C two cases. Whenever A is zero, that means A is actually two because we are already given two to A, right? That minimum case is always satisfied. Whenever this a becomes zero, that means a is actually two, actually two, right? Whenever, like, suppose there's a case here when a gets two, b gets th b gets three, and c gets five. Okay, there's a case here. So, it in this actually will ask me how much a gets. So a gets four because a already has two. So a gets four. So four plus actually four, right? It is actually four. So four plus three plus five. Is twelve only, right? So distributions of twelve chocolate only, but cases we are counting. So how many cases? Either we give two, three, five, or we count four, three, five. Cases only one, right? So if if the case is for a plus b plus c equal to ten is equal to two plus three plus five, so a is getting two. That means a is actually getting four because already two has been given to a, right? So we are only counting the cases. So cases is both same. Why? Right? Why? Right? But why we are doing it because If all becomes zero, we have a direct shortcut for it. Of if all becomes zero, I can directly write the answer as ten plus two twelve C two. Otherwise, if I don't do it, I have to form the cases starting A two B four C six A two B one C and like that. It forms so many cases here. Okay. okay, so I don't want to form number of cases, so we'll do directly. We'll do directly. Okay. Now, come to next one. Now here A plus B plus C is equal to let's say or plus D is equal to twenty. Where A is getting at least one, B is getting at least two, C is getting at least three, D is getting at least four. Okay, so this question reads like: twenty chocolates are to be distributed, or twenty identical chocolates are to be distributed among four persons A, B, C, and D, such that A gets at least one, B gets at least two, C gets at least three, and D gets at least four. So how to do it? So first we'll satisfy the minimum condition. Okay. So A needs at least one, so so give one to A. B needs at least two, so give two to B. C needs at least three to give three to C, and D needs at least four, so give four to D now. So if you're given these chocolates, one plus two plus three plus four, ten chocolates given, right? So now A plus B plus C plus D equal to how much is equal to ten? We are left with because ten is already given. Now we we'll simply count the cases because all are now greater than equal to zero. So we we'll simply count the cases because as many because the number of cases will be same. So whenever D is zero in this case, D is actually four. Whenever C is zero in this case, C is actually three. Right. So this is the case. So how many cases? Very simple now. Ten zeros, ten circles, and three plus sign. So ten plus three, thirteen C three. So thirteen C three is the answer for this question. Thirteen C three. 
right i hope it is clear so very good concept it is clear i think okay so let me write a question in word now so get the more clarity a word in how many ways 100 chocolates or should write 100 identical chocolates or 100 similar chocolates anything 100 similar chocolates can be given to can be given to a b c d and e such that a gets at least two b gets at least five okay c gets at least ten d gets at least twelve okay and e gets at least fifteen this is a question right this is a question in words okay so we can directly do it now in how many ways 100 similar chocolates can be given to a b c d and e right they are given to five i should write given to five persons so that persons are always different right always different persons can be same okay so um mm, e so, so what is the equation now a plus b plus c plus d plus e is equal to 100 is equal to 100 right right now a gets at least two so a gets at least two B gets at least five, C gets at least ten, D gets at least twelve, and E gets at least fifteen. Right. So what we'll do? We'll satisfy the minimum case. So A needs at least two, so give two to A. B needs at least five, so give five to B. C needs at least ten, so give ten to C. D needs at least twelve, so give twelve to D. E needs at least fifteen, so give fifteen to E. How many are left now? So we're left with. A plus B plus C plus D plus E equal to how much? Two plus five seven. Seven plus ten seventeen. Plus twelve twenty nine. Plus fifteen forty four. Forty four out of the hundred given. So what is left with? Hundred minus forty four fifty six. Now out of the, out of this fifty six, now all can be zero. All can be zero, right? So how many cases I can form now? How many cases I can form now? Since all can be zero, so fifty six circles plus four plus sign. One two three four. There are five variables. There will there will be four plus sign. There are ten variables. There will be nine plus sign. There are twenty variables. There will be nineteen plus sign. Right, just one less. So fifty six plus four. What is the answer? Fifty six plus four, sixty C four. So answer for this question is what? This is sixty C four is the answer for this question. Okay, so it's a good question. Right, this kind of question you can expect in examinations and all. Right, and we have many such variety. Right, we have many such variety also. See next. Next we'll discuss. Find the. Find the. Natural number solutions. Natural, number solutions. Of the equation. Of the equation. A plus B plus C plus D, is equal to thirty five. Okay, so we need to find the natural number solution of solution of this equation now. Now see, natural number solution solution means what? Now how we can use that previous funda here also because in this case what we are doing is actually we need to find the number of cases because this is thirty five, right? So if a plus b plus c plus d equal to thirty five, so we need to find the number of cases, right? Like zero 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 thirty five one 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 thirty two. Okay. Two, one, three, thirty, four, six, five, twenty. Like this, I need to find all these cases, right? Also cases. So, for this, for the combining of cases, we have a brilliant concept, right? That's similar to different. We can we can convert this question from to similar to different because there also, if you remember in method one, we follow all those cases in which five choc in which how many ways five chocolates can be given to three person. Make this all cases, right? And since since these this number was similar, so selection won't matter. The identical chocolates, right? Selection won't matter. So directly number of cases I have to solve. So here also in this in this natural number solution also simply I have to solve it this number only, right? 
the session will not matter because thirty-five is the number. It simply count the number of cases, right? So count the number of cases. Best way to apply this into same category, right? So you can write okay, A plus B plus C plus D equal to thirty-five. It is natural number solution. That means A has to be at least one, B has to be at least one, C has to be at least one, D has to be at least one. Okay. So that means how much is left? If we satisfy minimum condition, so A plus B plus C plus D. So A needs at least one. So A give one to A, give one to B, give one to C, give one to D. So thirty five minus four thirty one. Now all can be zero. So what is the answer? Answer is thirty one plus three plus sign. So thirty one plus three, thirty four C three is the answer for this question. Thirty four C three. So thirty four C three is the answer for this question. Right. Similarly, we can also write. Find whole number solutions solutions of the equation a plus b plus c till j is equal to one fifty. Now we have to find the whole number solution of this equation or whole number solution, right? So again, I told you in num in uh, number solutions question. I can use that similar to distribute similar to different distribution funda because k I have to simply count the number of cases, right? So, but it is whole number solution, so nothing, no change because all can be zero now. Since all can be zero, whole number start from zero, right? So all can be zero now. So nothing change. I have to get simple solution. I have to find. So one, it's like one fifty circles, and how many plus signs here? There are ten variables. A to J, there are ten variables. There will be nine plus sign. Okay, A to D, there are four variables. So three plus sign. One less, obviously, right? So a to j, there are ten variables. There are nine plus sign. So nine plus sign, right? Nine plus signs. So what is the answer? One fifty plus nine. One fifty nine C nine. So answer for this question is what? One fifty nine C nine. The answer. Okay. So very important concepts we are discussing here. In the next video, we'll there is will little bit is scaled difficult to higher higher level, right? We'll put some conditions in this. Okay. So. Please watch next video. Okay, thank you.